everyone. I'm Lagaya Pierre, the food editor of the Atlanta Journal Constitution. Thank you. It's a rainy Thursday in Atlanta. Not necessarily the hottest day, but we hope today to bring you a little bit of tropical paradise. I'm here at the SunTrust Park at the Battery Atlanta at SunTrust Park to be specific. And our special guest, or host I should say, is Hector Santiago. How are you all? The name and the face behind El Superpan. Many of you know him for his Latin restaurant uh, sandwich shop in Pond City Market. He's gearing up to open the second location for Superpan here at SunTrust Park. So today, though, he is going to give us an inside look both at the uh, new wares, the new place, as well as a little bit of food and drink that's going to be perfect for summertime. So it's about to rain on us before we get some more drops. Let's go inside and take a look. Come on. Okay, this is our door hand carved. Fancy, fancy. You know, it's a door that we took in from uh, Cuba and uh, got made in here hand carved by uh, our awesome uh, carvers with me. And uh, we took some colors, I added some colors that give you that feel of Latin America, yeah. you know, the Caribbean yeah. plantation. What a door. Okay, this is kind of heavy too. Inside, yeah. Inside it's more like church. <laughs> Inside it's like church? <laughs> yeah, it's all brown and beautiful. It seems that you're in, you know, in the church in Latin America. So we wanted that feel, you know, and it transport you back to the tropical That's field. That's beautiful. We'll Inside, take a yeah. look at the other side to give yeah. you a sense of, uh, of that gorgeous wood there. Alright, we've so, had a lot, you have a lot going on here. We have a lot going on. We're doing interviews right now for our new staff. We're also getting what they call the punch list, finishing up the last little thing. So like three days ago, this was beautiful. Now we kind of back to almost a construction mode for a few days. And you're about to open in mid-July, right? Mid-July. So hopefully the 16th will be a day. Um, I'm be my birthday. The 50th birthday, I'll be celebrating it in here. The 50th birthday celebration <laughs> here at, at Super Pond. It's super fun. So at it's going to be a lot of fun. At, uh, at Battery at SunTrust Park. Yep. And we should mention, if they have any questions, just drop them in the comments section and he's happy sure. to answer, right? Obviously, yeah. Okay, and, uh, so... So, you know, we're here, space. basic case, and here we're going to be actually taking a little bit more uh, deeper look into our faces from the Caribbean. So, our quesitos, our Mallorcas, uh, we're gonna have also some cakes and uh, so we've got an awesome pastry chef. She's back right there right now cleaning up her wares. Uh, we're gonna have uh, as well warm pastries. You know, we do a lot of warm pastries that we a lot of time eat for breakfast. So, you know, just, just a recap our, our concept is based on a Puerto Rican, Spanish, Caribbean uh, bakery. And in a bakery at home, you will find anything from hot pastries and muffins and all the pastries uh, from Latin America as well as sandwiches, that is what we do a lot. And then also as well as rice and beans and sometimes even a paella. You know, so in here we we stand in our menu and try to get a little bit closer to that uh, bakery that a lot of us go in there for breakfast, for lunch and sometimes for dinner. And your hours here, are they gonna be breakfast, lunch, dinner? So we're gonna do breakfast at nine o'clock. So it will be like a late breakfast coffee type uh, action. So we do nine to 11, but we'll have those items available all day. And uh, we'll have a coffee section in here that everybody creates for in the old store uh, Pot City Market. We don't have space for it, but over here, we're gonna be doing the Cuban coffees and really nice program of Latin American style coffees. You know, you get the cortados, the espressos, the, the fun one that I love, it's called Colada, that they do a lot in, like you see a lot in Miami actually. That is like a huge espresso, and you give it out with in little shot glasses. So you serve the whole thing with six shot glasses, and people, you know, play dominoes and chair. We're gonna have some domino tables outside to get that feel in there also. Domino, actually, we just, I just picked up dominoes about a year ago. Now oh, I'm sort awesome. of like a regular. Yeah. yeah, so if you're just joining us, I'm Lagaya Figueres, the dining editor for the AJC. I'm here with Hector Santiago. You will recognize him because he is the face behind Super Fun and Super Fun. He's opening a second location at the Battery at SunTrust Park. The space is so much bigger than what you have. So much bigger. At <laughs> Market. Let's take a look, and when we get to the the other side here, we're gonna give you a bit of a. We're just gonna do a, a demo here. Yeah, of we're some gonna do food. mofongo, and uh, we're gonna do a Cuba Libre. All right, so take so, a look here. At you know, space. we have nice big old patio, and uh, it's an inside patio, so it could be raining, it could be outside. 
no problem. And then out of here, we're going to be doing drinks with like sugar cane juice and uh, frozen margarita, what I call kind of almost like cheesy drinks well made, you know? Um, so all seasons there a little bit, and you've got yeah. the walk-up section too. Exactly, so if you come into the park, you can grab a drink and keep on going. We have an open liquor license here, so you can have a drink in your hands, you know. Well, moving back to this space, we actually had to ask the uh, construction team to yeah. shut it down for a little bit because it was so loud. Let's take it back here. There's some gorgeous arrows So I like it. And our, you know, in Puerto Rico, uh, the decorating clubs, you always see it in uh, the garage of a house and that's when I was a kid we used to make our parties our neighborhood parties in there so we got a party the Marquesina we mean you know garage party literally and this is meant to remind you of that to, you know the cardboard at home where we did those parties inside here we have what we call Salon Tropical so this is our kind of private dining room and it's more sexy we're also gonna have uh, we pray now I don't know if you can see but we, we got a big old with Arboleda, you know, with a lot of palm trees are getting hand painted in there, and we're gonna say in there really big Salon Tropical. DJ is gonna be right on top of there. The DJ space. The DJ space, so we can do a little bit of you know. Right, and, and then uh, back here you've got your bar. Yeah, so our bar is, this is what I call a sexy bar. Uh, it's uh, a little bit more refined, a little bit looking, you know, it's gonna feel in here. Uh, this will have some curtains and you can rent this for uh, event so private viewing, event space. private event space. It's about setting plus uh, eight at the bar, so it's, it's a nice size for every event. And uh, you know, I've got a lot of car wood around. This old wood that came from uh, Pennsylvania, from Amish country. So a lot of it's hundred years old. And plus. a lot of it's very colorful. And then down yeah. below, you've still got your tile work going on. Yeah. Right, so we're going to shift here into the. Uh, the kitchen area, which is an open kitchen. You know, completely open kitchen. We, we like to be honest with our food, everything we do. We don't like to hide behind the wall. Plus, it's part of the show. People want to see what we do. You know, we're going to be doing mofongo. Every time we do mofongo, people go crazy. We go, we're matching that thing in there. And it's a big show, you know. And uh, we added this huge churrasco right here. That is a lot of fun. So this churrasco grill, even that it's more of a, let's say, Brazilian equipment, our purpose with it is to cook Latin American food, Caribbean food in there. So you're going to see a lot of churrascos, you're going to see uh, cornichons, so, I love cornichons. For those who don't know churrasco, that's yeah. grilled meats. Yeah, it's a grilled meat and it's a skirt, what they call skirt steak. Uh, my favorite is what they call insect skirt. So it's a little bit thicker, more meatier, more rich of flavor. So you're gonna see a lot of that on our swords. Yeah, we should take them over there here real quick. To me, this is uh, the coolest thing that, piece of equipment that we got. It's like your toy, huh? It is my toy, you know? So here we're gonna literally stick our meat, and then it gets That's grilled the over The espada, down. right? Espada, yeah. Right. So, you know, churrasco, rodizio. So you got your sword, and then you poke them through there, poke you fry through, it. Yeah. And so, down below, we've got the, um, <laughs> The, the, uh, charcoal. the charcoal, and it, you know, it, it's, it gives you that nice roasty deliciousness, you know. So this is one aspect that we're going to see here at and Super Pond. Yeah. Are we going to see at this at both? The Super only at the Super Pond. So yeah. those of you who are just joining us, I'm Lagaya Figueres, the dining editor at the AJC. We're with Hector Santiago. He's a chef here in Atlanta. He's opening his second location of El Super Pond, which is known as a pan Latin sandwich shop. But when this place opens, which is the location is at the Battery at SunTrust Park, one specific to this place is going to be the churrasco, which are these grilled yeah. meats here, at, made in this very special yeah, that's gonna be awesome. grill area. You know, so what's going to happen enough from this is that you're going to be able to order a panko churrasco. That is something, you know, you see a lot in Argentina in, in the streets. You eat pan with something. Right. So literally, grab this pan piece of bread, bread. Yeah, bread. slice and it into there, serve you with chimichurri. Very simple, but very delicious, you know. Awesome. The same thing we'll do pan con churrasco with homemade chorizos, um, you know, anything. I love one of my favorites, picaya, and uh, the, what they call culot. And it's an amazing taste. We put a lot of garlic on it, and it's just great on a sandwich, you know. At the same time, you know, you can do, I write some big plates, it's what we call a blue plates, you know. So you could do a blue plate with churrasco, or with chicken, whatever we have in here. I plan to put in there anything from churrasco to 
lobster tail, duck uh, breast. So we plan to really push the envelope. You're with this. really making my mouth water. To, you know? Okay. So in the meantime, in the meantime, what the meantime, we are going to do? Mofongo. 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 So, so yes. it, well, well, we should mention that in a recent article published in the AJC by uh, writer Henry Holland, uh, we talked about some hidden menu items and some of our favorites. This mofongo is not necessarily so hidden. Now it's become sort of a, it's, uh, yeah. a known secret. Exactly, literally. But talk to, talk about what mofongo is and sure. and how we can get it. What do we need so, to know? You know, mofongo uh, traditional way is made with plantains that we're gonna do here today. Uh, so plantains that get fried and then match. So uh, it gives you a different texture when you cook fried plantain on a fryer at high temperature than when you boil it, let's say. Uh, so it's kind of fluffy and delicious and caramelized. Um, and we add garlic, a little cilantro, and we put it in here. This is called pilon. And uh, this one's gonna match it, you know? Um, what the product that comes out of here is basically a mashed uh, item. And uh, a lot of time we serve it with fried pork. Um, that's the traditional, we do it at the restaurant. You can ask for it at the cashier or at your bar. And it's not on the menu, but we they're ready, we'll do it for ready you. and yes. willing. Okay. And, uh, today I'm gonna do the shrimp version. That is okay. one of my favorites. All right, this awesome. one that kind of hits a little bit of the flavors of um, um, basically Afro Puerto Rican. Okay. You know, from this our section, the area of uh, Loiza, mm -hmm. where you see a lot of coconut and tomato together. So I love coconut and tomato. Uh, we're gonna use this beautiful shrimp, They're actually from Argentina, and uh, salt. And then our spice mix. What's in your blend? So this blend has a uh, Spanish paprika, Mexican oregano is what it's called, but it's the kind of oregano that we use in uh, Puerto Rico also in the Caribbean. It's a little different flavor, more orangey. Okay. Um, black pepper, and a couple of other things that I try to tell you I'm going to have to kill you. So let's don't do that. <laughs> so we're going to saute that, have a nice hot pan in here. If you're just joining us, we're with Hector Santiago. He is the chef and owner behind the concept of Super Pan. He already has a location in Pont City Market, which you opened about two years ago, right? Two and a half years, yes. And now he's opening the second location here at the Battery at SunTrust Park. I have my, my plantains, and uh, we like to use this as secret part. But uh, we like to use those stones for our plantains. One, okay. because they're already halfway cooked. All right. And two, this, this is a specific plantain that we use, called Hawaiian plantain, uh, that it makes it really fluffy. A lot of time, mofongos, and especially if you're here, that the plantain is not coming out of the you know, tree, the same, or the plant, uh, can become a dense, you know, because the plantain kind of loses its fluffiness, its water content. And uh, so I, this is like the only way I make mofongo, either with this or with green bananas. Actually, green bananas happen to be, when they come to us, more green than any plantain we can get. So it's very important always when we do mofongo that the uh, that banana, if you do banana, is very green. Okay. You know, that's how you get that great flavor and also the texture. So I like to tell us what you're. If we can get a close shot of this, tell us what you're looking for. You know, so, a lot of times people just don't know. Like, do they set it? Yeah. Do they shift it? What are you looking for when you know, you're turning I, I, it and I, saying, hey, "Hey, this is done." Yeah, I like to to take it a little bit just to loosen them up, you know. But what I'm looking then for then time to curl. All right, we're but, looking for some curl, and yeah. yours are actually your yours are um. Uh, uh, D veins, head and tail pulled off. Yep. And uh, I actually need a little bit more oil in there. There we go. Breakify that. Right, so we're... once they're seared, I don't want to cook it too much. So I'm going to add some liquid. I'm going to add, you know, the tomato and, and coconut sauce. So at this point, they're, you know, I say 50%. Okay. We're going to add some onions So we had sauteed before with a little bit of thyme. So I'm give you the oregano type feel. Garlic that will be completely in uh, olive oil. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this is already smelling yeah, so good. If we could yeah. only share this part on And this in here is Facebook. a tomato and coconut sauce. This is an hour. 
by default, we're gonna keep on cooking it, right? Heat up the sauce, reduce it. So at the same time, it's, it's ready cooking. That's why I started with the shrimp. My squeal kind of raw, you know, not raw, but not too all the way through. Okay. And uh, you know, like any good chef, you want to taste it. I do know it tastes awesome because we make the sauce ahead. <laughs> you already know it tastes awesome. Yeah. And does it taste awesome? It does taste okay, awesome. Good. I love that the flavor of coconut and tomato. And uh, with the spice, it really makes it taste like Puerto Rico, but it's something you don't find in Puerto Rico all that often. But it has a tropical flavor. So is this, is this the way that you grew up with it, or is this just uh, right. you we made it put up. it in your back pocket and take yeah. everything that you've learned and you make it up? Exactly. All right, yeah. all the best of, huh? You know, this. Uh, I, I just create that flavor from the beach, you know, so that's what this means. Okay, well flavor today, being that we're just like rain and sourness outside, we definitely need to take a walk in yeah. some tropical paradise. Okay. So that's our tostones. See how this plant is very, very yellow, and uh, that's very important. If you're just joining us, what we're doing is learning a little bit about Hector Santiago, who is the... Uh, the face and name, owner behind a Super Pan sandwich shop, um, is making his mofongo. It is a quote unquote secret menu item, not so secret any longer, on uh, um, at his restaurant. The but the basis south. of it is always um, going to be uh, green plantain. Green plantain. Sometimes we actually make it with yuca. I love it with yuca too. Okay. And uh, so, you know, a little bit of raw garlic. The only one I love because it's raw after all, you know, it can be kind of hard. But uh, what we do, so we add a little bit of salt. And I like to match it first. When you look in there, it's a very deep bowl. This is made out of a, a wood in Puerto Rico called Guayacán. And I like to give that a second because what's gonna happen, the, the garlic gonna quickly cure. Okay. And it, it makes it taste less harsh in your mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we love raw garlic, but sometimes it's like too it's much. Not sharp. Mm -hmm. And this is not it's as sharp. It tempers it. Exactly. So our tostone is going. You know, at home you can do from plantain. Again, this this go. is my kind of secret, you know. And then I have in here a if, puree guard of uh, cilantro. We get garlic. So it's sort of like, almost like a pesto, but cilantro type. Right. Okay. Cilantro, olive oil, a tiny little bit of garlic, and our adobo. A mixture of uh, cumin, coriander, uh, garlic so we're gonna mash this until it's combined but we don't want it too much neither because mofongo like the I guess graceful part of a good mofongo is that you have this little kind of crunchies on it okay. you know and that originally kind of like um, uh, the uh, socarra in a, yeah, in yeah, a paella mm -hmm. exactly and uh, you know the thing with mofongo is that uh, originally you know, mofongo was made with uh, pork cracklings a lot. So I love it with pork crackling, but just to try to keep it to, for me, more people to, to have, we just get the crispy plantain. Okay. I have a friend in Miami that makes a great mofongo, and uh, he's it's he, very crunchy. Jimmy! And uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I love about his mofongo is that crunchiness that he, he gets from cutting the plantain thin. And. Uh, it's just really delicious, and you think that you hit a piece of chicharrón, but in reality, what you're hitting is a crunchy part of the mofongo. Uh, excuse me a second, but I gotta. This is the part I gotta use my hand. All right, let's so stay. Let me get a, we'll, we'll stay sterile. The blue man glove, and uh, we like to. I like to shape it like a uh, what we call a canal. So with a spoon, we hold it together, and then. Put in here. I'm a fungo. And then and next the shrimp here. Shrimp. Ooh. Well. Well, the magic of TV, and this is what you do. That happens. You mm -hmm. play it like you let's, did it on purpose. Let's be a bit of Julia Child. <laughs> it's yeah. Fine. It's fine. I don't drink with wine, but I drink wine when I cook. <laughs> And then I like to finish it with some herbs. I have in here a mixture of cilantro and a little bit of dill. I love the dill freshness and it makes it taste what I, we call genesis <laughs> That's right. Beautiful. 
So it gives it that unexpected flavor that you don't expect in our oh food, gosh, yet these, it's delicious. Awesome. Smells wonderful. Okay, so one down, one to go. Yeah, well, yeah. We're going to move on to one to go. We're going to taste this. This is the mofongo that you can order at a super pan. This one is, I'm going to grab the shrimp. This one is with shrimp. If they order, yeah. if they order it, what's, what's going to happen? What are they going to so get? So they can get the shrimp mofongo. They can get the pork belly mofongo. It comes with the pork broth. And they can also get the tofu mofongo. So we made the tofu with the same flavor as the shrimp. That's also why we don't use it like, I love shrimp oil or, or shrimp stock, but we're trying to keep it, you know, universal for those tofu people, you know. Uh, we have a lot of vegans that come to us and they love this dish. This is awesome. Delicious, though. Super fast. And super, super fun. Fast. You can get it super fast. This is wonderful. Delicious. Very fast. Wow, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we're going right. to shift over. We have learned so far that Seabed <laughs> Pond is opening at the Sun Trust, that, that, uh, the Battery at Sun Trust Park in mid July. Hector Santiago has shown us a little bit around the space. He then also pointed out that you are going to be able to experience churrasco, which are some grilled meat, here only at this location when they open. He just made us uh, one of the menu items that you can get at either location, which is the mofongo, a specialty dish, um, a Puerto Rican specialty of mashed fried plantains. Lastly, now we're going to move to what really, really is going to make people's day is one of your favorite summertime cocktails. Yeah. I love, uh, <coughs> sorry, switch around the here. Um, uh, and, uh, so we're going to do the Cuba Libre. Nowadays, we can get this rum that is not necessarily the Havana Club from Havana, yet it's made with the recipes of the original family. They're making it in Puerto Rico, so it's kind of weird. This is Havana and Puerto Rico on the bottom, but hey, <laughs> it tastes good. So That's our, pretty much all we care about, right? Yeah, and the reality <laughs> is that it plays well with our concept. Our concept is basically 80% Puerto Rican with 20% of Cuba, Dominican Republic, we don't try to throw a little bit of the Caribbean part of uh, Mexico. So it's really Puerto Rican, Cuban, and Cuban Puerto Rican. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> our first ingredient <clears throat> and what yeah. makes our Cuba Libre special and different is the shrub. So the shrub, we have a bunch of uh, lime seeds that I started testing here. Right, you started testing some, yeah, some limes some a while lime. back, almost a dozen of them. Yeah, and uh, the thing with this is that you want to see how I'm, I'm hitting it once and then moving it. Twice, actually, you know. You don't want any of the white. So, you want to keep the so pit stay intact. Stay away from the pit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, just get all the great flavor of the lime and the, you know, the oils in the skin. That is really what we're after. So, once you get this... I like to take some sugar, and then this is the fun part. Um, pardon me a second, I'm sorry I gotta do this. Oh. So the fun part includes rubbing your hands on it, and you're at home, just put your hands in there. And you're, when you're at home, you don't have to wear gloves. When well, you don't have to wear gloves, <laughs> when you're in here, you know. I'm gonna keep it nice and sanitized. Uh, I love my blue man gloves. You can do that. Like and a, then a Latin smurf. <laughs> we call it pitufos. <laughs> That's the funniest name ever. So you wanna rub it like this. Now you can do this with any citrus. Um, you know, lime is is, is our main. Uh, cocktail maker item in the Caribbean, you know, lemons really don't exist in the Caribbean. A home lemon will be basically a ripened lime, you know. <laughs> uh, so we get it by doing this, all those oils, you see how the sugar kind of turns already uh, green, and that's the chlorophyll and the oils getting in there. So I do this for about three, four minutes until it's kind of wet. See that? And that is all coming from the skin of the... For anyone just joining us, we have Chef Hector Santiago prepping up a Cuba Libre. 
Yes, one of my favorites. When I was a kid, it was right, just rum and coke, coke, but now... Not, not so much rum and coke, coke, huh? No, it's no, bubbly. No, exactly. It has a little bit more of meat, you know? So, I guess the, the trickiest part in here is to not burn the chlorophyll. Because you have acid, they're going to burn it. I'm going to change the color on it. And also, we use a little water to help melt the sugar. So, a lot of... Uh, the hot water, one cup of it, and you don't want it super hot, but this is just gonna help you melt all this sugar. You see how it turns nice and pretty. Sometimes and this is just the base. This is the shrub portion um, yeah. of the cocktail. Yeah. So you see, now I this helped me melt some of the sugar, and then I'm gonna finish with the rest of the liquid now. Once we have the rest of the liquid being uh, very acidic, you know, lime, you're gonna burn the, the, the chlorophyll basically. And even though it would taste good, it could look pretty ugly. So we're looking to dissolve all the sugar <coughs> as quick as possible. So I don't want to leave it more than 30 seconds, you know, because it, it, it will literally turn the color of it. Okay. And I try to give that nice green hue. So what I'm after is making sure that my sugar is melted. And you know, as you can spend half an hour on, on the sugar part that you are at the beginning, rubbing it, because really that's where you're getting all the flavor. And then you only have one minute, 30 seconds to extract it. So oh. hurry, 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 don't, hurry. Don't, don't wreck it. <laughs> don't let us get in your way. <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna strain it. So. Uh, I'm straining and I want to see that my cess is still green. That's uh, the tricky part of this shrub. Every other shrub, no problem, because you don't have green color. And chlorophyll is so delicate, you know? So that's a shrub. You see how it has a nice, nice green hue? Absolutely. And that's yep. what we're looking for. Right. Um, it seems. Uh, kind of easy at Elemento, but really, you don't know how many people mess it up. <laughs> if you're just joining us, we are we are at the at finishing portion number one, step number one of uh, making a shrub for a Kubo Mijere. You've been listening to Hector Santiago. He's the chef and face behind us, Super Pod, which is a restaurant concept. You've seen it before in Pont City Market. They're opening. He's opening a second location here at SunTrust Park, um, the Battery at SunTrust Park. So this is where we are joining him today. He's giving us a look, an early peek at the restaurant that will open in mid-July. And a bit of it, some ideas on what's going to come out of this restaurant as far as food goes. Lastly, we've turned to the cocktail, the Cuba Libre. Important, All right. important. Okay, words. important, right. Libations. So we're going to start with our Havana Club to basically keep our flavor profile as close as possible like you were in Havana. Obviously, we cannot go there all that often. I went last year, and I tell you, our Cuba Libre is much better than their Cuba Libre. <laughs> as well as our Cuban sandwich. There's no such thing as Cuban sandwich in Cuba. There's no <laughs> such thing as a Cuban sandwich Only in Cuba? Only on hotels. <laughs> so we're going to add two ounces of our rum, quarter ounce of lime juice. A quarter ounce of lime juice? And a quarter ounce of our shrub. This one I pre-made before. You see and how it's still has that green. This is a quarter ounce of green. the shrub that you just made here. Okay, yep. that was what you demoed for us. Now we gotta be aware that besides having lime, this has sugar. It's, you know, a shrub is basically a sweet and sour. I mean, that's how I look at it because I'm a chef. You know, a bartender will want to kill me, but it is a sweet and sour. It is what it is. So this is that simple. Okay, we're just mixing it. We don't add ice or anything like that. So. What I like to do is that I like to keep my co my coke really cold. Okay, so I'm gonna put out the coke. So we don't melt our Mexican coke. You know, and the <laughs> thing with Mexican coke is that it's less sweet and more effervescent than regular coke. Okay. And it's used, you know, it's made with uh, sugar and juice. So the flavor to me is more clean. You know, so sorry, this is a chef trick. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hope you guys all caught that one. <laughs> so I like some nice chunky ice. 
again, all those bartenders looking at me, I know, I'm not a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> they will want to kill me. But I like just to pour a little bit. Here we top go. Top it up. Final touches on the Cuba Libre. Three ounces of the Coke. <coughs> I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. I don't wanna touch it a lot because it will melt the ice and I don't I want my coke to be cold so it doesn't melt the ice. We want it to keep it nice and refreshing. I always like to serve it with a straw. I like to drink this drink with a straw just because of the ice. Guess on my teeth and it gives me we call it dentera. And that's our Cuba Libre, very simple, very delicious. Beautiful. Just good products, made right. Okay? And uh, it's always good. With our there we Puerto go. Puerto Rico and Cuba. A good marriage. Our super pan. Yes. <laughs> Puerto Rico, Cuba, yes, super pan. United. Yes, super pan. You Wonderful. know, they say uh, in, in Cuba when I was in there, they always told me that Puerto Rico and Cuba were two, two uh, wings of the same bird. I started researching, and it's from back in uh, 100 years ago. It's a poem by a Puerto Rican. Uh, 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 are you call it a poem maker? A poet? A poet, thank you very much. So a Puerto Rican lady poet in Cuba that she was uh, in exile from Puerto Rico. It's very weird. It's kind of backwards, right? right? So what we see in, in, in modern times, so. Well, we can learn new things Enjoy. every day, no. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hector well, Santiago, was showing us around today, showing us a new space here at Super Pond that uh, the battery is on Trust Park, showing us a little bit on uh, the behind the scenes here on Mofongo. A menu item that you won't find on the menu, but that you can ask for. Yep. And lastly, a wonderfully refreshing summertime drink at Cuba Libre. Shout Nothing better. Thank you Thank very you so much, much for having right? us. Yes. You're welcome. Come we'll back see. in two weeks. That's right. They're opening July, mid-July. July 16th is the Hopefully. hope. Yeah. Cross your fingers. Thanks for joining us.